Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to get my review of Survivor Series 2003. Starting off the evening up to our first match of the night it is a traditional Survivor Series matchup. It is John Cena, Chris Benoit, Bradshaw, Hardcore, Hardcore Holly and Kurt Angle versus Big Show, A-Train, Nathan Jones, Matt Morgan and Brock Lesnar. The match itself, it was a good opening matchup for Survivor Series 2003. Back and forth matchup between both teams. Hardcore Holly ends up attacking Lesnar on the outside. Referee ends up eliminating Hardcore Holly. He's uh, disqualified. He's out of the match. Bradshaw hits a clothesline from hell on A-Train. Pins him for the three. A-Train is now also eliminated from this matchup. Big Show then hits a choke slam on Br uh, Bradshaw. Pins him for the three. Bradshaw is now eliminated from the matchup. Show then goes for a choke slam on Benoit, but Benoit counters it with a cross face. Big Show breaks the hold. Angle then hits three German suplexes on Matt Morgan. Angle then hits an angle slam on Morgan as well. Pins him for the three. Matt Morgan is now eliminated from this match. Angle then applies an angle lock on Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones is now eliminated from this matchup. Lesnar then hits an F5 on Angle. Pins him for the three. Angle is now also eliminated from this matchup. Benoit then applies a cross face on Lesnar. Lesnar taps out. Lesnar is also eliminated from this match. John then hits Big Show with a chain. Referee doesn't see it. John Cena then hits his signature FU on the Big Show, pins him for the three, and Big Show is now also eliminated from this match. And your winners of the match are John Cena, Chris Benoit, Kurt Angle, Bradshaw, and Hardcore Holly. Hats off to John Cena, Benoit, Angle, Bradshaw, and Holly for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is for the WWE Women's Championship. It is Lita versus Molly Holly. I thought this was a relatively good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Lita and Molly Holly with Lita keeping the pace of the match. Molly hits a sidewalk slam on Lita. Lita gets up, hits a powerbomb on Molly Holly. It looked absolutely brutal. Molly then gets up, hits a senton off the top rope on Lita. Molly then sends Lita into the turnbuckle, pins her for the three, and your winner of the match. And at that time, still... WWE Women's Champion is Molly Holly. Hats off to Molly Holly for getting a win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Kane versus Shane McMahon in an ambulance match. I thought this was a great matchup. Uh, back and forth matchup between Kane and Shane with Kane keeping the pace of the match. Kane, uh, Shane hits an elbow drop on Kane through the announce table on the outside. Shane then hits a coast-to-coast -coast off the ambulance onto Kane. Kane then gets up, throws Shane into the ambulance. Kane then hits a tombstone on Shane. And Kane throws Shane into the ambulance, closes the door. And your winner of the match is Kane. Hats off to Kane for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is for the WWE Tag Team Championships. It is Eddie and Chavo Guerrero versus the Basham Brothers. I thought this was an okay matchup, back and forth matchup between both teams with Eddie and Chavo keeping the pace of the match. Eddie hits a head scissors arm drag on one of the Basham brothers, but Danny Basham ultimately hits a roll up, pins for the three, and your winners of the match are the Basham brothers. Hats off to the Basham brothers for getting a win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is another traditional Survivor Series matchup. It is Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Christian Scott Steiner, and Mark Henry versus the Dudley Boys, Booker T, RVD, and Shawn Michaels. Number one, this was a great match. Back and forth matchup between both teams. Jericho hits an enziguri on RVD. Scott Steiner then hits an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex on RVD. Booker T then hits a scissors kick on Scott Steiner. Scott gets up, applies a Steiner recliner. Booker T then hits a bookend on Scott. Pins for the three. Scott Steiner is now eliminated from this matchup. Mark Henry then hits a World's Strongest Slam on Booker T. Pins him for the three. Booker T is now also eliminated from this matchup. Dudley's hit a 3D on Mark Henry. RVD then gets to the top rope. Hits a Frog Splash as well on Mark Henry. Pins him for the three. Mark Henry is now also eliminated from this matchup. RVD then hits a Rolling Thunder on Randy Orton. Randy Orton then gets up. Hits an RKO on Rob Van Dam. Pins him for the three. RVD is now eliminated from this match. Jericho then hits a swinging netbreaker on Devon. Pins him for the three. Devon is now also eliminated from this match. 
Christian then hits an unprettier on Bubba Ray, pins him for the three. Bubba Ray is also eliminated from this match. Shawn Michaels and Christian both exchange. Shawn then hits a super kick on Christian, pins him for the three. Christian is now also eliminated from this match. Shawn hits a DDT on Jericho. Jericho then goes for a wall to Jericho, but is countered with a roll-up. Pins for the three. Jericho is now eliminated from this match. Jericho then gets frustrated, hits Shawn with a chair shot. Shawn goes for his uh, sweet chin music. Uh, but it is um, it gets countered. Austin then attacks Bischoff. Austin then hits a stunner on Randy Orton. Batista is here. Batista hits a Batista bomb on Shawn Michaels. Randy then goes for a cover. Pins for the three. And Shawn is now also eliminated from this matchup. And your winners of this match are Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Christian Scott Steiner, and Mark Henry. Hats off to Orton, Jericho, Christian Steiner, and Mark Henry for getting the win. In this matchup. Moving on from that. We go into our next match of the night. It is Undertaker versus Mr. McMahon. In a buried alive match. I thought it was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Taker and McMahon. With Taker predominantly keeping the pace of the match. McMahon then hits Undertaker with a shovel. Undertaker then, Undertaker then throws uh, McMahon into the grave. Undertaker then goes to uh, drop dirt. But is met with a fireball. And then Kane is here. He comes out of the... Uh, the truck, Kane then attacks Undertaker, and then Fence hits a, uh, Fence ends up dropping the dirt onto Taker, and your winner of the match is Vince McMahon. Hats off to Vince McMahon for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is the main event of Survivor Series 2003. It is Triple H versus Goldberg for the, for the World Heavyweight Championship. I thought it was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Triple H and Goldberg with Triple H keeping the pace of the match. Triple H and Goldberg both exchange in the middle of the ring. Goldberg then hits a spear on Triple H. Triple H then hits brass knuckles onto Goldberg. Goldberg gets up, hits a Ric Flair with a sledge where the referee is out. Goldberg then hits a spear on Triple H. And as well as a jackhammer, pins him for the three. And your winner of the match, and at that time, still... World Heavyweight Champion is Goldberg. Hats off to Goldberg for getting the win in this matchup. A couple of things I want to say about Survivor Series 2003, man, before I get out of here. Number one, it was a decent event at best. I don't think it was all that great, to be honest with you. I mean, if I had to give Survivor Series 2003 a rating from 1 out of 10, I'd probably give it a solid 5, maybe 5.5 at best, man. Like I said, I do not think Survivor Series 2003 was all that great. Uh, there was a couple decent matches on here. The opening match up for Survivor Series 2003 was decent. Uh, Kane versus Shane McMahon in the ambulance match was really cool as well. Undertaker versus Vince McMahon in the Bear to Live match was awesome as well. But other than those two matches, really, that was the only match that kind of like, those two matches were like, all right, this is not a bad event. But all in all, it definitely wasn't the, uh, it wasn't the best Survivor Series, but it, it damn sure was not the worst either. So, like I said, if I had to get Survivor Series 2003 a rating from 1 out of 10, I'm probably giving it a five, maybe five and a half at best for Survivor Series 2003. But this is my review of Survivor Series 2003. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful and remember, stay classic.